We are at Sky Sports taking a look at the greatest Formula One track ever made. I'm joined here by Ted Kravitz and we're going to be put head to head in a quiz to see who has the best F1 knowledge. I feel like I'm going up against a pretty big name and a pretty knowledgeable person in Formula One. Not necessarily, it depends <laughs> what the questions are. Before the start of the season, Sky Sports and Now TV launched the greatest track on earth. A groundbreaking project where F1 fans voted on the best corners across the calendar. Combining corners from Monza to Monaco, Spa to Suzuka and many more. With the power of AI, Sky launched the track with the help of Star TV trio Ann Davidson, Bernie Collins and pit lane facts guru Ted Kravitz. So we thought we'd put Ted's knowledge to the test against our very own Hayden Gullis in a tricky track trivia quiz. But first, we had to get warmed up. Luckily, there was a Batek reaction time machine on hand to get me up to speed. Now it was time to face the cult hero star of Notebook himself, Mr. Ted Kravitz. Have you got a, um, I've got a stunt pen here. Okay, I haven't got a pen. Okay. I'm just gonna have to take it all from my brain really? and try okay. see if, it, see if that works. All right, I'll, I'll um, yeah, there might be weird questions. <laughs> Which cheese has Ted famously used in F1 technical explanations in the past? I feel like this is difficult for me because you were there. There are so <laughs> many uh, cheeses. So, um, year before last was a baby bell yeah. uh, with Carlos Sainz. The um, one with Vettel, I remember you walked up to Vettel with some Vettel cheese in the back. was some uh, Emmental. Okay. And then we did a bit with Jody Eggington from Toro Rosso, as it was at the time. And that was some aged Gouda. Uh, it was so that I could carve the channels from the underside of a floor into it. And then, of course, I made the joke that if he had Lewis Hamilton uh, on in his team, we could do cheese, egg, and ham. Yeah. <laughs> so it's cheese. He's yeah. egg and then it was ham. So would you say then cheese is, is the best, the best use of uh, explaining Formula One? You don't need any other technical stuff other than Not cheese. really, just as long as you've got some cheese to demonstrate. Yep. You know, I just find it tends to lend itself to <laughs> some quite good instructional explanations about things. I think I mispronounced it, and um, all the, the, the Dutch uh, viewers said it's pronounced Gouda. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. I've got, I've got, I've got I've girlfriends, so I have the same thing all the time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which driver is F1's oldest race winner? And a bonus point for naming the race they won. I would say Juan Manuel Fangio, right? The oldest race winner. Is that right in the race he won? Race he won, I mean, I don't know the race he won. I feel like late 50s, I wasn't quite around then. No, uh, I'd, I'd either go, I'd either also go with Fangio or I'd go with um, Jose Froyland Gonzalez, okay. his Maserati and Ferrari teammate. Or, it wasn't Mansell when he was 42, was it? No. Um, Are we right with Fangio? Was it We're going to go Fangio. Fangio. 51. Long time ago. <laughs> Luigi Fagioli, interestingly, um, also a kind of Italian bean. There's a lovely Italian salad called Tonno e Fagioli, which is tuna, uh, parsley, onion, and white beans and chickpeas. I feel like Formula One and food just go hand in hand. Uh, if not cheese, then tuna salad. <laughs> yeah. Ted has been to every track on the calendar, but can you name this former F1 track? Oh. Uh, it looks. That is <laughs> very interesting. Uh, I have no idea. I'm going to say Dallas. I'll go then. No, oh, I have no idea. I... No. Or the original Las Vegas. Phoenix, Arizona. I was in the wrong state. I was. I, I mean, it's going to sound stupid, but I feel like I was thinking Phoenix. Which so is you know. ironic because <laughs> um, 
I constantly see shapes of circuits yeah. in various weird stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I once saw Imola in a piece of sliced okay. grilled, grilled yeah, chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, just today, I saw as Baku Azerbaijan in some peanut butter. More food related. Yeah. And I feel like, as well, you sometimes accidentally make circuits. Like if you're just putting down an elastic band and then all yes. of a sudden you're like, oh, that would actually, that would make good time. Silverstone. Yeah. yeah. Brands Hatch Indy. <laughs> yeah. Ted travels all around the world with Formula One, but how far will they travel in total this year? How many kilometers will we travel uh, between races? I'm going to go with, uh, well, it's 16,000 kilometers to Australia. Okay. So I'm letting you go first, and I can build my answer All around. Right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go with 110,000 kilometers. 110. I'll go larger with 130,000. Well, at least we're in the right 100 ballpark. Yeah, exactly. Does that count? Yeah. Okay. Right. Sounds like you've got a lot of travelling to do this year. Well, I know. <laughs> Which underdog driver set the fastest lap at last year's American Grand Prix in Austin? Yuki Sonoda. Wow. Was it, it not? Yeah. It was. It was. Very, very good. It was. Sorry, were you going to say it? No, I've, no but oh, I've been absolutely ruined today. Okay. I don't know. But even after inflicting defeat on Hayden, Ted wasn't done with us yet. I do have one last question for both of you. Mm -hmm. um, what socks are you wearing? I am wearing white Slazenger socks. Are you? Yeah. What's the other one? Oh, no, the same socks. Same socks. Yeah. yeah. What have we gone for here oh. then? You cannot get the staff these days. Oh, very, very good. Oh. <laughs> very, very Does good. Anyone actually pay attention? I'm going to need to have. I'm going to need days. to have a word back at the office to get myself some socks because I haven't got any. You know. so send them all to you. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. <laughs> so unless Lewis Hamilton has gotten his hands on a pair of WTF1 boxes, we have to award the title of WTF1's biggest celebrity fan to Ted. And I'll have to go back to training my F1 knowledge ready for a rematch with Ted in the future. Will Hayden ever prevail? Maybe we'll never know. But to make sure you don't miss out when Hayden and Ted next battle, remember to subscribe to the channel for all the Formula One related shenanigans.